We're trying to adjust the ventilation system in our house. We have an older house. It has a main square duct going down the middle of the ceiling. And it doesn't, it's not like the new houses where they size the duct work to each room depending on how far away they are. It's just all one big duct, same size vents everywhere. And what happens is one vent has better flow and it's wide open. One room will get freezing cold. Like if you set the thermostat to 74, that room will get down to 74 and then the AC will shut off and the rest of the house will be like 80 degrees. So what I did was I took this shoe box and a little DC motor. It has to be, um, it can't be a brushless type. And then I put a fan blade on it. And I'm using a regular voltmeter with some alligator clips. And it doesn't matter what kind of voltage reading you get. It's all about finding out the difference between one vent to the next so that we can adjust each vent to match. It's not going to be an exact science, but it's pretty close. And what happened was we found out that my daughter's room, which is right across from the AC closet, was a 39. The living room, which is pretty close, was a 44. And the two end bedrooms were a 6 and a 12, which is really bad. So. We added the four vents up, and oddly enough, it came out to 100. We averaged them out by dividing the four rooms, came up with 25. So we took our two highest number vents and closed them off until we got a 25. And then the other two vents came up automatically right around a 25. And uh, the house feels better already, but we'll show you real quick how it works on one of the vents. the reading. That's pretty good. Show the camera. What's it saying? 26. Is it fluctuating? Yeah. Between what? Well, it just stopped this at 27. So that's pretty close. You're not going to get much better than that with a shoebox and a fan blade. And we got each one I mean, they fluctuated before we started this. All the vents wide open. The biggest one was 44, and the smallest one was 6, which is just crazy. So you can imagine how hot the room with the 6 was. And now they're, what is it? It's fluctuating between 27 and 28. So now they're, they're right anywhere between 25 and 28. And it's already starting to feel cooler in the living room, which is one of the places that wasn't doing too good. Even though it had one of the highest rate readings, we would just eyeball it and close this vent off as much as we could, open other vents, so the living room was always hot. And that's basically it. I think I spent $3 on the DC motor, $2 on the fan blade. I already had the meter. So, you know, under $10 and problem solved.